Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're standing here in front of our hay buster. Well, bad news. I have tried everything I can think of to get large bales to grind in this thing, and they will not. So, unfortunately, this thing is of no use to us. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell the grinder along with our... Uh, whoops our little commodity shed because we're not going to need the commodity shed any longer and what we're going to do is we are going to put down another grain bin right there uh, where that commodity shed was so we're going to stick another bin right here And then we gotta go like this, and, whoops. And we're gonna make it so it's gravel underneath of it instead of this texture. And there we go. That should do it. Now, we're gonna jump on up here to our rake, which is right. That is... This guy right here. And we are going to finish up the raking and we're going to get started on some bailing. Yeah, it kind of sucks that can't really use that hay buster on this map. I really don't know why it won't grind large bales. It'll grind the straw bales but it won't do hay or grass bales out of the John Deere baler that we have and if we use any other baler it makes big bales and then it just looks absolutely ridiculous so not too sure what we could do um, about that so who knows I may figure out something in the future that you know didn't think of or didn't know now I don't know but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead we we'll get this field raked up and then we're gonna take this tractor and go park it over uh, by those two buildings over there where our bale trailer is currently sitting and then we're gonna probably walk over to our Z71 drive over to where our baler is sitting and then we'll uh, see if we can't get some bailing going in this video as well. Um, so sorry that you guys are seeing today's video a little late. Again, been busy. Um, I start working on Monday, so today is Friday. Uh, today, tomorrow, and Sunday I plan on trying to get a whole bunch of videos recorded and done. Um, so that way I can have a bunch pre-recorded and edited and uploaded. So that way I can work on maybe like a video a day and just, you know, I'll be staying ahead on videos so I can hopefully keep video, uh, keep videos coming out for you guys even once I do start work. Um, another thing too, um, taxes should hopefully be here in the next week or so. Um, I'll be getting a bunch of parts. Uh, I'm gonna be redoing. I'm gonna be getting a bunch of new brake parts, uh, plugs and wires, new control arms. Um, one thing that I want to see if I have the money, because uh, a lot of my tax money is gonna go to bills, uh, you know, truck payment, insurance on the truck, um, rent, utility, stuff like that, phone bill. Um, Hoping that I have money left where I can buy another GoPro um, And if I do what I want what I want to do is I want to um, When I work on my pickup, I want to get video of it um, You know We'll see if I can get video of it or not um, You know and if I can get a GoPro or not and whatnot um, and then once I get all the parts put on that I need to, it's going to the dealership for an alignment and a balance. Um, it's going there March 10th. 
So, um, I'm going to be getting that done finally because that is much needed. Uh, my alignment is all kinds of screwed up. So, I want to get that fixed. And because the place that screwed up the alignment screwed up my alignment, um, I don't trust them having balanced my tires either. So, uh, that's why I'm getting the tires rebalanced. Alright, we're done raking, so let's go ahead and run this over there, and then we'll run over to the baler and get some baling done. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, have an appointment at the dealership. I bought it from to get an alignment done, get tires balanced, um, and I want to try and get those control arms ordered, have them here and have them on before that. Um, cheapest place I found to get them from is 1A Auto which sells a lot of factory uh, you know OEM replacement parts um, I found on there two control arms for 116 bucks uh, when I talked to the Chevy dealership it's like $180 for one and I went absolutely not um, a lot of the parts places are pretty close to that same price so uh, you know, just for one of them, and with 1A Auto, it's 116, and you get two of them, so I want to try and, uh, probably do that, you know, that's a lot better of a deal, but I want to have those done, because those will be part of the alignment, so, um, I don't want to go get an alignment, and then I put these on, and it just screws up my alignment, and I have to get it redone. Um, you know, that'd be pretty pointless to do, so. But, uh, yeah, and then, want to see what kind of aftermarket parts I can get as well. I want to try and get headlights, taillights, third brake light, for sure. Um, I'd like to get my mirrors that I want and stuff, too, but, um, if I can't get them right now, um, it shouldn't take too long for me to have the money saved up from this new job. Uh, hey, now... Uh, to be able to get the parts that I want uh, for it or you know other parts so because uh, I want to get headlights I want to get tail lights cab lights third brake light mirrors um, I want to redo my um, the front bumper piece on my pickup uh, it was it's originally chrome on those pickups um unless you get it special ordered to not be chrome and so the guy that oh god damn it um the guy that owned the pickup before me he just basically spray painted over top of the chrome which does not work very well and so the paint is flaking off and you can see the chrome uh shining through so I found out uh, watching one of Rosine 24 Valve's videos, uh, who is uh, Mr. Loud and Proud's wife. Uh, found out from one of her videos that you can buy a heavy-duty oven cleaner at like freaking Walmart for four or five bucks a can, and you can spray that on it, let it sit, and then you kind of like take a brush to it, and it'll remove all of that chrome. Oh, nice. So, I didn't realize that it was going to uh, stop me and unload the baler for me. I downloaded a round bale extension mod, and I guess that that's part of it where uh, it stops the baler, similar to what it does with the combine, where it'll stop the combine and uh, um, put the auger out. Yeah, so it, it'll it unload it for me, which is kind of cool. And I can't start going again until the baler shuts. So that's kind of a nice thing. <coughs> so we're going to get a few bales off of this field, which will be perfect. We need all the bales that we can get each cutting that we do because 
like I mentioned before, we will just end up doing a second cut, so. And that round bale extension mod's kind of nice. Alright, three bales off this field. That ain't too bad for how little of a field this guy is, because it's really not a big field, so... All right, let's head on over to our next one. Oh, there is a actual path into this field. Did not know that. That's okay. So, since it'll stop the baler for us, we can just turn that off. And I did download on uh, the Giants Mod Hub, or the official Mod Hub, um, official Giants website, whatever you want to call it. Um, it had a real dirt fix. So before, when we drive on the road, the tires would get clean from driving down the road. And now they no longer do that. Why am I driving so slow? Oh, okay, I am driving. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, another thing that I plan on doing with the tax money is I plan on getting the Kloss DLC. Um, I'm probably not going to get the John Deere Cotton DLC just because I never, ever do cotton. Uh, cotton's not something done around here, so I just never do it. Um, so, not going to get that, but I am going to get the new uh, Borgolt DLC that is coming out. Um, I will be getting that when it comes out as well. Uh, very nice looking DLC, so I definitely want to pick that one up and uh, use that. Let's go ahead and start on this field here to our right first. Yeah, dang it. Pickup wasn't down. Should have been, though. There we go. Now we got her going. So yeah, we are going to have a good few videos of uh, hauling and stacking hay. Sunflowers are looking good over there. So I have downloaded a whole lot of new mods lately, uh, one of which we will probably be picking up uh, soon. Um, they're for the International S2600 truck, um, the one that has a grain bed for it. Uh, or well, you can buy it uh, in the store. You can choose. You can get like a get it with like a flatbed on it. Or you can get a, uh, basically where it's, you know, it hooks on to other stuff. Uh, basically AR kind of deal. And, uh, can do it where, um, there's one where you can put a, uh, it's got a seed tender. And then it's got a little herbicide tank, or a liquid tank. So you can put, like seeds and solid fertilizer or lime into the tender and then you can have liquid fertilizer or herbicide in the tank um, so that'd be a very nice thing to have for seeding uh, next season uh, we won't really have to run back and forth to the farm or anything like that to fill our seeders which will be nice um, that'll be really nice actually so uh, it'll make things a lot quicker and easier. And then that truck does also have a silage box that comes with it too. So if anything, we could pick up that silage box as well. And then we can just kind of hook and unhook the different beds uh, to use whatever we need at the time. Yeah, so I'm not sure when today's video is going to go up. It's currently just coming up on 3 o'clock right now. 
Um, I'm probably going to record two, three, maybe four videos right now. Um, just so I can get a few done. And then I'll start editing them and getting them uploaded. Um, or I'll probably, I'll probably get this one editing when I start recording the next one. Uh, that way, you know, I can kind of knock out two birds with one stone. I can get this video edited and get it exported. And then while it exports, I can work on the next video and just kind of keep doing that uh, here for a bit today. Because um, I want to try and get a decent amount of videos recorded over the next few days. So we got one, two, three. We got four. We can get another bale. Yep, so we got five bales off of this one, which isn't too bad. I'm guessing we'll probably get maybe three to four off of that little field. Probably another five or so off of that other field uh, behind the tree row there. We're all clear to jump across the road. This thing definitely bails at a pretty decent speed. Which, I mean, it's... That's a nice thing. It's a little unrealistic, but it's nice. So, we're just about to fill up with bale number one off of this field. There we go. So, hopefully, we should have enough net wrap in this baler to bale... Um, everything before we got change um, but I have a feeling on our second cut because we still have 68% on our net wrap so by the time we get done we'll probably have maybe only used like half of our net wrap or so I'm just gonna kind of run these bushes over here um, but we'll probably still have maybe half of our net wrap so either on our when we're bailing our next cutting or while uh, baling straw, we'll have to uh, um, refill our net wrap, which is back at the farm. Uh, I am going to test and make sure that with the cornstalk bales that we can actually use them and feed our cows. Uh, so I am going to do some testing on that uh, on a separate save game. I uh, will probably just throw together another save game of this map, uh, not put in seasons, and then just put down our feedlot that we have um, someplace by a field and use that feedlot and just kind of test it out, make sure that it's going to work and whatnot. So, three bales off of this field, that's kind of what I was figuring we'd get. Go ahead and pick that little bit up. Yeah, I kind of figured that we'd get about three bales, so not too shabby I'm thinking we might be able to get maybe five six bales uh, yeah maybe about five would be kind of the most realistic guess this field's really not all that big either but then again it is a little bit on the lengthy side so I don't know I'm gonna guess somewhere between three and five bales and here's gonna be number one have to grab a screenshot here when we get going straight there we go grab a little screenshot there so here's bale number two coming up so I'm gonna guess three we should get three for sure but we might get lucky and get four we'll see I don't think we're going to get five out of it, though. I think that might be pushing it a little bit to uh, try getting five, so.
And so this will be number three here. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to get another bail off of that windrow, but I could be wrong and we could get another one. Who knows? I guess we'll uh, find out here. We might get lucky and get another one. See if I can try and do a little in cab bailing. I might have to go into Giant's editor and edit the camera on this tractor. Bring it up a little bit so that way you can actually kind of see out a little better. Rather than just seeing the hood. We're going to get lucky and get another one here before the end. Yep, right at the end. Nice. So, four bales off of this field. Not too bad, not too bad. head over to our next one so we're really only gonna have like one more video of bailing uh, before we get everything done we only have another two fields left after this one so we are not doing too shabby and we still got another eight minutes left on this video so we'll probably get a good portion of this field done yet too Then we'll be able to take these guys back to the farm, get them cleaned up, get them put in the shed. So this one we might get... Oh, I'm going to guess a few bales off of. So that's one. There's number two. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a few bales off of this field here. Holy smokes. This baler's filling up pretty fast. There's three. Three bales already and we're not even all the way around the field. That's insane. A fourth one here around this corner. This field's gonna give us quite a few bales, and then I'm assuming that one back there on the other side of that soybean field, that one should give us a decent amount as well, because uh, that's a little bit of a larger field. So we got four bales already, and we're probably gonna have another one before we hit that end over there. Yep. There's number five. And we've got a little over half of another one already made. Oops, turn a little sharp there. <clears throat> so we got five already. Here's number six.
Yeah, this is a lot nicer you having this uh, round bale extension mod. Not having to worry about if the baler's going to fill or not. Not catching it, that kind of thing. Here's number seven. I'm guessing we might have close to 20 bales off of this one here, so that's not going to be too shabby. Here's number eight. <laughs> and we're going to fill up again around this corner here. Oh, and it's going to put it right there. Really? Right at the end of our windrow. Oh, well, I guess. That's, what, nine now, I think? I'm just going to stop keeping track, because we're going to get quite a few off of this one here. I mean, I could do it in cab like this, but it'd be a lot better if the camera was up just a little bit. I think we're already at about 10 bales. Here's going to be number 11. I think this will be like number 12 now or something. Definitely cranking them out. We still got a ways to go yet on this field. So, not too shabby. fans quick on the computer so we're getting about a bale of windrow now which isn't too bad can't really complain there I definitely need to get caught up on uh, posting some pictures as well. Alright, so there went our timer. Um, I'm just going to run up here quick. I want to 
get us on this next wind row before I call it a video and then we'll be able to hopefully finish bailing tomorrow should be able to but alrighty guys that is going to do it today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not already to be notified every time I upload a new video make sure to check out down below in the description you can find my PC specs my upload schedule all of my social medias as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you all tomorrow